how are you? Very good, thanks. All the goods. Turn your head to the right. Let's see, let's bring your leg down a little farther. Hold just right there. Hand off forehead. Touch right there under the leg. Put your leg out this way and down. Bring this leg up and down. Zoe. Zoe. When the medicine starts kicking in. Your molars are big, girl. Your molars are big. Your molars are big. <laughs> wow. What did you say, dude? Fasted cardio, looking mighty fine. But I actually get very nauseous if I don't eat right when I wake up. So fasted cardio is not the most fun thing in the world. Right now I'm like feeling a little bit like I need to eat. All right, let's go. Let's go, Zoe. Zoe's currently freaking out. She loves her mom. She loves her mom. <laughs> All right, so Steve and I have a like digestion protocol type thing. What we do is two tablespoons of this with a half of squeezed fresh lemon, down that like a champ, and then we do two scoops of this bad boy. Or no, sorry, one scoop of this. And then also this, all on an empty stomach. And if that is still not working, then you do like hot lemon water. But usually this does the trick. So. You can do the probiotic as your first meal. I do this on empty stomach. If, if you get bothered by, by pills. Right. So like some people get a little nauseous. So that's something you could do. I would, get, I would get a little non nauseous. With From the bit. Oh, see, I eat right away, so it doesn't really matter to me. But yeah, I thought I'd share with you guys. Our digestion protocol. To both worlds, you got some nuts and more. That's his best. Bam. I look forward to this bad boy every morning. I know I'm boring, but I just love it with some eggs, of course. Right? Chop. Progress photos for Steven. He's um three and a half weeks out. It's Friday. That was today. Wait, I can't see. See this creation? Hold on. It's like too bright. Hold on. Mm hmm There you go. One hour ago. My back needs work. Looking good. Breakfast pot two. This is the only dairy I have in my diet. I use only like 10 grams, so it's really not anything, but these are my favorite hot sauces, salt always. And then here's the creamer that I use. And it's really good, so cheers. Cheers. All right, so macros today are 100 carb, 40 fat, 150 protein. Uh, last week, I ended up dropping weight like crazy. Um, 
I dropped like a pound overnight or something. I don't know. And when you have your cycle, you end up gaining like probably I gained like five pounds of water weight and it just really, really sucks. I don't know. I mean, every female is like that. So you gain weight and then literally in a week I dropped like five pounds because of my water weight. Um, and then we kept going and I dropped a pound again overnight. So he gave me two refeed days, dropped cardio. So my refeed days were like 250 carb. Um, and now I'm back on the 100 carb with a little bit of cardio. Um, but honestly, things have been not bad at all. Like last year at this time, we were doing cardio five days a week, 30 minutes fasted. And then my macros were like 100 carb, like twice a week. And then 50 or no, like 25 carb for like a lot of days of the week. Um, we did, we did keto. So basically that's low carb, higher fat. Um, and it worked trying to get my body in, into condition because it's really what was needed. But I did not love that, obviously. Um, I don't know who would love eating like low, low carb and like, you know, 50, 60 grams of fat, but I did what had to be done and we did get into condition for my show because we only had nine weeks, but um, yeah, so that's where I'm at now, and I'm really thankful that I did an off-season and got my metabolism up and um, gained some lean mass because it's helped me so much throughout this process. Like, I would not see the same results if I didn't reverse diet um, and get my metabolism and macros uh, higher. I would not see the results, and I would, I would probably right now have to really, really push hard, but right now, I mean... It doesn't even feel like prep. I feel so good um, and fats coming off of me. So yeah, things are good. Today macros are 100 carb, 40 fat, 150 protein. And we really like higher protein. My body does very, very well on that. Um, especially when you're dieting, you don't want to go too low in protein. Um, but I just really love high, high protein, um, so. Where we at? I forgot to add that I'm not on like 100 carb for the whole week. I have four low carb days and then one refeed day of 200 carb. But I haven't gone through that cycle yet because I keep dropping weight and we keep having to refeed me. So life is good. Long story short. <laughs> All right, we at the gym. I'm doing some booty and hammies. He's doing some booty and hammies. <laughs> Just kidding, he does not train the booty like I do. Trust me, we've worked out together on leg day. Just ain't the same. Just ain't the same. I think today's topic of the video is gonna be how to get glutes without squats and deads. Because you guys know I've had a back injury since July or August, specifically L5. And I have not done squats or deads, like heavy back squats, uh, since then. And I have definitely grown a booty. So, I'm going to show you guys everything that I did. I want to try to like compile past videos, movements that have worked for me, what I did specifically, uh, nutrition wise. I know that I have my entire growth series, so you can check that out if you want more details. I really do want to do this video because I feel like so many females are like, need to do squats to get a booty, and that is not true. So, I mean squats are very good for like a ton of different things. But if you have an injury, you can still get a booty without squats and deads. And I was honestly really, really worried about it. But I think it turned out pretty good. So, sorry, the air has been on this whole time and I just realized. So I hope you guys can hear my voice. Alright, I'm going to go get this workout in. Wish me luck. It's beauty day. Getting mentally prepared. <laughs> what day is it? And bye. This is a Gymshark haul that I did right at the end of my prep. So I was very, very tiny. My glutes were 100% gone. And then this was a Gymshark haul that I did in February, I believe. And that was at the end of my growing season. So there's a big difference there and I'm about to show you all that I did. So this was the workout that I did at the very, very start of my growing season. And then here's 
a workout that I did in this in the middle of it uh, and then as we go through the footage we'll kind of go all the way until the end of my preps you'll get to see the glutes kind of grow I guess and evolve <laughs> but these are some movements that are definitely my staples I don't stray away from them very often yes my workouts are different every single time but the base of my workouts always have these movements in them um, not all of them just a few of them and I switch it up with variety each time so you'll see a lot of hip thrusts a lot of kickbacks a lot of banded work a lot of RDLs um, really really focusing on the glute I try and focus on using my glute the entire time rather than using my hamstrings and my quads because our quads are super dominant throughout the day as we walk um, and kind of just are active if you think about it we're not really using our glutes so when I work out I have to really really focus on squeezing my glutes the entire movement so, so yes I grew glutes this off season without doing one back squat or one deadlift uh, because of my injury and I feel like it worked out pretty well so these are some movements if you guys want to look at this video for future reference for ideas on glute movements these are just my top favorites and they helped me a ton um, nutrition we reverse dieted I have an entire video on that on my YouTube a few videos ago if you want to watch that but we ate in a surplus uh, pretty much the entire time and that's obviously going to help you build muscle so I hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more I love you guys and I will see you in the next one